around a three or five year Okay, so this is the DS card. I'm going to open it up. And teach them the same type of stuff. Not all of them. Put in the back of the card here, you'll see the memory card that can't be taken out because it has the warranty sticker over it, but I've removed it. Um, so the card goes into the micro SD slot on the game card and then the game card goes into the back of the DS like so right here See. and then we'll open it up and I'll fire up the DS with the mod card installed not in the system, but just the game card in the game slot. And so it loads up, and you can see there's three options on the bottom touch screen for games, movies, music, and pictures, and then the slot 2, which is the expansion slot. So I'm going to click on games, and you'll see it load up with the directory select the directory and you'll see there's a games list at the top so I'm going to scroll down, you can't really see it because the letters are hard to see scroll down to uh, let's say we'll just go to Super Mario Bros the new one hit A and then just let it load up and there we go there's the game Select a random one. So that was the multiplayer that I selected by accident. I'm just gonna go to a single player game. New game. Oh, as you can see, it loads up. And then I'm going to shut it off and load up another game. So, turned it on. See, it loads up. No problem. We're back to the mod screen. Select games again. Select the directory where all the games are in. And then I scroll down. Now, I haven't shut the sys. I haven't pulled the game card out. This is still has all the 23 games in it. And then... I go down to say Star Wars The Clone Wars Republic Heroes. Wait for that to load up. There you have it, a second game. 18 more on one side. Okay, so that's enough for the preview.